What if quantum physics wasn't something you studied, but something you played? Welcome to Quantum Odyssey, a sci-fi puzzle game that turns the mind-bending world of qubits, entanglement, and superposition into hands-on challenges you can actually solve. Quantum Odyssey invites players into a world where the abstract rules of quantum computing become interactive, visual puzzles. Developed by Romanian studio Quarks Interactive, the game was built to put the logic of both classical and quantum computing into the hands of anyone who loves a tough brain teaser. At its core, Quantum Odyssey is a no-code educational puzzle game that teaches the principles of quantum computing without requiring players to know a single line of code or advanced math. Each level asks you to manipulate qubits, visualized as colored circles, using quantum gates like rotations, entanglement, and interference. Your goal? To match a given target state. It's a satisfying gameplay loop. Apply an operation, check your result, optimize your logic, and repeat. The result feels surprisingly similar to factory puzzle games like Shapes or Factorio, but instead of conveyor belts and assembly lines, you're working with quantum logic. In fact, Quantum Odyssey has drawn apt comparisons to Zaktronic-style games like Opus Magnum and Molex Sintas thanks to its blend of open-ended problem-solving and circuit optimization. You're essentially programming quantum circuits with colored blocks and nodes, but without needing to write a single line of code or understand any equations. The developers at Quarks Interactive wanted to make quantum computing approachable for everyone. You don't need a background in physics, coding, or even algebra to jump in. Concepts like superposition, entanglement, and interference are taught entirely through intuitive visuals. That said, for the curious, there's an optional overlay that reveals the underlying math, but it's never mandatory. Players are free to solve puzzles through visual reasoning and experimentation alone. The scale of the game is equally impressive. Quantum Odyssey includes over 350 handcrafted logic challenges, spread across 55 branching learning paths, all wrapped inside a light sci-fi narrative. As you progress through its missions and story chapters, you gradually unlock deeper quantum concepts, each one layered elegantly on top of the last. Beyond the main campaign, the game offers sandbox modes, where you can freely experiment with entanglement and interference, even visualizing the full Hilbert space of quantum states. There's also a multiplayer component, including asynchronous hacking duels where players can challenge each other's puzzle-solving skills. You can build your own levels, share them with the community, and climb the leaderboards to see how your solutions stack up. The result is a rare fusion, a story-driven science adventure, a powerful educational toolkit, and a competitive puzzle platform all in one. A game that truly makes quantum logic feel not only understandable, but genuinely fun to play. So what does playing Quantum Odyssey really feel like? Each puzzle begins with one or more qubits, represented as glowing circles on the screen. You're given a goal, something like create a superposition, or entangle two qubits and extract a parity bit. Your job is to get from the starting state to the target state using a set of quantum gates. Think of them as buttons or tools that apply specific operations. You click or drag these gates into the workspace, and each one transforms the visual representation of your qubits. Colors shift, Circles split or merge, and beams of light may link qubits together to show entanglement. Everything updates in real time, and that's where the magic happens. The process feels like sculpting logic from light. You try a gate, see the effect, then tweak your approach. It's an iterative loop of experimentation and visual feedback. The game shows you the entire quantum state live, so you're not just watching a result, you're watching all possible outcomes interfere with each other as you work. It's mesmerizing. I love puzzle games, and I like to think I'm a smart guy, but Quantum Odyssey genuinely made me feel stupid at times. It pushed me way out of my comfort zone, like my brain was being reprogrammed just to keep up. But that's exactly what makes it so rewarding. The moment things finally click, it feels like you've cracked a code no textbook could ever teach. The puzzles are open-ended, you can reach the correct solution in more than one way, and the game rewards cleverness with efficiency scores. There are leaderboards, so you can see how your solution stacks up against others who tackled the same problem and you'll often find yourself replaying levels just to squeeze out a few more optimization points. As you progress, the puzzles get more complex. While all of this is wrapped in a light sci-fi narrative, featuring an AI and some philosophical musings on the limits of science, the story mostly serves as flavor. You don't need to follow a deep plot to enjoy the experience. The real thrill comes from those aha moments, when a puzzle finally clicks into place and you realize you've just mastered a concept that once sounded impossible. It's tough, but deeply rewarding. Quantum Odyssey is designed for a wide audience, but with very specific tastes. On one hand, it's remarkably inclusive. Anyone aged 12 and up can jump in, whether you're a curious middle schooler, a university student, or a lifelong learner. 
The game is already being used in formal education settings, from UK classrooms to Romanian university courses, proving its accessibility and educational value. But here's the catch. While the door is open to all, the journey isn't easy. This is a game for people who love puzzles, the kind of players who don't mind spending an hour solving a single level and feeling triumphant when it finally clicks. It's not a casual app you zone out with on a lunch break. It's a carefully crafted gauntlet of brain teasers wrapped in a sci-fi narrative. Even the developers describe it as a game for the nerds and the curious, those who want to explore the very edges of what games can teach. By the end of the campaign, founder Lorenzo Nietzsche boldly claims, you won't just know quantum, you'll think in quantum. It might sound like hype, but many players walk away genuinely feeling like they've mastered something once deeply arcane. That said, a fair warning, if you're looking for light entertainment, Quantum Odyssey might feel overwhelming. But if you've ever lost yourself optimizing a machine in Opus Magnum, or crafting a chemical chain in Molex Sintas, and you're even a little bit curious about quantum tech, this might just be your next obsession. And if the difficulty gets to you, don't worry, it's definitely the game. Even Homer Simpson would probably need a cheat sheet. As we wait for its full release, Quantum Odyssey stands as proof that games really can make hard science approachable, even beautiful. If you've ever been curious about quantum tech but were scared off by all the jargon, this is your invitation. In the end, Quantum Odyssey may not be for everyone, but for those it clicks with, it opens up an entirely new way of thinking. It's a journey through the strange, mesmerizing world of the quantum realm, and it just might leave you seeing math in a whole new light. If you enjoyed this deep dive, collapse your indecision and superposition that subscribe button, because there's plenty more gaming curiosity just waiting to be entangled.